I really fell in love with nature and felt this powerful desire to help you know, connect people with plants, really. You don't need to spend very long in nature before you recognise its beauty and wonder, and it sort of evokes this awe in everyone, I think, doesn't it? I think that's a universal experience. So, you know, we wanted to do it through something really simple that was accessible, and everyone loves tea. So, Seb, I've got to ask, what are these? They're absolutely gorgeous. They're all prickly like a thistle. Oh, they're amazing. These are echinacea, you know, which is amazing for the uh, immune system to use through the winter. And this seed head at the top used to be used as a comb by the North American Indians. And it's called echinacea because it's named after sea urchin, because it looks like a sea urchin. Oh, it so does, doesn't it? Goodness me, look at that. This is like a an artist paradise almost because you just don't get to do this kind of thing very often. Look at that, look at that. Beautiful fennel. Oh, it's so lovely, isn't it? So this is a, a main ingredient, well, one of the important ones in womankind, I believe. It is. So in Ayurveda, it's called Shatapushpa, meaning the plant with a hundred flowers. It's very high in essential oil and that is used to help specifically stop period pain. The thought of actually bringing the live ingredients into my studio is exactly what I was hoping for. These orange ones are, are marigolds. They're very effective as being, for being a protective of your immune system, but also it's used to help bring on a period. It sort of invigorates your blood a little bit and is a great wound healer as well. You know, it's amazing for women's health, basically. So this is lovely to see because um, they're going on the Cape and I was going to do them bright orange, but now I'm really not going to hold back. No, don't hold no. back. There, are my, you know, there is a yellow variety as well, but the, the bright orange ones are yeah. something stunning, basically. They're really beautiful. This is so inspiring to be here. Ooh. <laughs> it smells absolutely amazing, the chamomile. You need about 5,000 flowers for a kilo of... Uh, chamomile. It's very good for helping relax everyone. You know, it's given to children a lot to help them sleep, but it's great for adults as well. And there was actually an amazing study done in Mexico recently showing that people that drink two to three cups of chamomile a day, they extend their life by all, you know, all mechanisms, basically. So it's like a protector. This plant here is meadow sweet. It's beautiful. And that is one of the plants that has got some of the compounds that go into aspirin. The history of human medicine is the history of herbalism. I mean, that is what we've always used. You know, it's only the last two generations, really, we've forgotten about plants being a, as a centrepiece of health. It'll be so lovely to go and put these next to all the drawings that I've already done at, in my studio. It'll bring everything to life. I can't wait to see the cape. I think we're going to have to get you wearing it. <laughs> learning about these wonderful, medicinal, powerful plants that we have forgotten and that Pucker are bringing to life through their tea. That concept has grown up the Cape. My mission is to translate my experience of the herb garden and transform that into a beautiful Cape. But really, the hands-on hard graft begins here.